Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. If you are new, you're going to want to subscribe. Today's video is a threefold video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get color without damage, how to do a bomb twisted updo, which makes for a great protective style, and my best twist out ever. So this is the current state of my natural hair. It is freshly washed. I had a microfiber bonnet on it in order for it to dry overnight. I just braided it up, twisted the ends, and now I'm gonna put it under a stocking cap. And the one that I'm putting on is rather worn. It has been through it, y'all. But I like the color of this one. It's really hard to find wig caps that match your skin tone. So I've just been using this one over and over again, but I did go to Amazon as I was editing this video to buy Buy more because this is just sad. Now the unit that I'm going to show you all today is from Her Given Hair. I'm sure you guessed it. This color is just so divine. I love that we now have great natural hair wig options that look so much like our real hair. These allow us to be able to achieve the lengths that we like, the colors that we like without damaging our own hair. And this one comes with everything already done. It has bleached knots. The hairline is done to perfection. It already has an elastic band sewn on so you don't have to wear it with glue or gel and I wore mine completely glueless. Isn't that so awesome? And don't leave this video too soon. You can use the same techniques and tips that I'm going to share with you guys in this video on your natural hair, but this unit makes for a really great protective style. This wig is called the Embrace Your Coily Life Wig. It's in length 18 and it's in the coily texture, which is my favorite texture. And what I often emphasize about her giving hair units is that their texture is consistent throughout. So you're going to have the same texture from root to in and that's often rare with kinky curly textured hair. So y'all know what's next. We need to condition this hair. Now you can wear it right out of the package. The hair felt super soft and ready to go but I always like to define the curls and I like to do so using my Aussie 7 in 1 conditioner and also the Felicia Leatherwood brush. If you do not have this brush you need to go out and buy it because it is a game changer. Y'all let them know in the comment section. So now I'm going to allow you all to watch the magic of a little bit of conditioner and the power of a great detangling brush. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this unit also has six inches of parting space. Look how realistic that looks. This part is so satisfying to watch in my opinion. So I'm just going to get to it and then I'll come back on when we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so now that we've defined the curls and cut the lace off in the front, I do want to mention that I did get my unit in a size small and it doesn't look like it fits, but it does. If my hair was braided down flat, then it would be perfectly fine. But I generally like to just wear my edges out with these type units and just wear it glueless. So that's what I'm going to do. Before I get into how I secure the unit down so that I can wear it glueless, I'm going to show you guys how I twist it up. I have not done a twist out in the longest time. So it was so refreshing to see how amazing this one turned out. The products that I'm using are the Coconut Curling Cream and the Curl Defining Glaze by Dark and Lovely. Those two products pair so nicely together. So if you have not tried them on your natural hair together or even on a kinky curly unit, then try them y'all. Those two products provide so much definition and moisture. It is insane. <laughs> Swagger like a rock star. Number one, best in show, I'm an all star. Hang up that sugar, I'm the best thing around. Better get ready, a new boss is in town. I'm here. So let me show you now what I'm all about. Just make it look so easy. Just like that, to die. Touch. 
This looks so juicy. I cannot stand it. They look so good. Now you could dry the twist and wear it the same day if you sit under a dryer, but I didn't decide to do that. I like to allow it to air dry for about a day or so, and then I begin to install the unit. So I just put my plaits in a little ponytail and then put on my wig cap, and now I'm just gonna put the wig on over and begin showing you guys how to do the twisted up do. Now what I like about this style for this unit, and if you were to do this on your natural hair, is it gives your twist enough time to dry so if you have to run errands or if you have to just go out and do something really quick you don't actually have to take your twist down too fast which gives your hair a break as well and it's so cute so we're going to leave the hair twisted for a little bit and i'm going to show you guys using a head wrap and you guys often ask me about these head wraps they are from wrap life i did get mine on amazon so i am going to link it down below for you guys but i first start by leaving a few of the twists out in the front to create sort of a twisted bang look and then gather the rest of the twist up into a high bun at the top and don't worry about your lace lifting the head wrap is going to cover that it doesn't even matter I'm so crazy about you I'm so crazy about you Babe We can count all the stars in the sky as they pass by your face Trip up to Mars, hold you tight in my arms all the way First time out of space Well, baby, I would give you the galaxies Fall for your love when there's no gravity, gravity Hop on this rocket ship, I got a blast Girl, you're so confident, we don't need fast Me forever So this is the first style guys. Let me know what you all think. Now we're gonna take the twist down. I'm gonna apply some oil to my fingers and begin unraveling the twist. And you all are gonna be able to see the strategy that I use in order to unravel the twist so that I don't disturb the curl pattern. And then I'm gonna fluff. Pick yourself up 
wanna say it. say is wow this looks so good <laughs> all right so now i'm going to show you guys how i rock it glueless you can apply gel to your edges which i'm not going to do and i'm just going to add bobby pins to the side it's so easy but yeah guys that's the end of this tutorial i hope that you all thoroughly enjoyed it be sure to like comment and subscribe let me know which style was your favorite i look forward to your comments in the comment section check the description i have all the links and specifications down there follow me on instagram if you aren't already as well as tiktok be sure to share this video with a friend i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next tutorial bye guys Look so